Monday morning, and as promised, today is sanding day. Oh joy. I'll start out with 150, then move to like 240. And some folks may be wondering, what is block sanding? That's what I'm going to be doing. I will use these blocks, various sizes, and uh, starting out with 150, moving to 240, the bigger the number, the finer the paper. And I will be looking for scratches, dings, divots, uh, hold a sec. What I'll be doing when I'm sanding, I will be looking for tiny little scratches. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's some scratches right there. There's some scratches right here. And um, they may or may not be filled in with the primer. If they don't fill in with the primer, then I'll have to come back and spray some more primer on. May even find little divots like that. And like that. Mm, like that. So that's what I'll be looking for is the little stuff. And... Uh, Hopefully, it'll all come out. I, put, I may have to put a little spot putty on it in a place or two, but we'll show. All right, let's get to sanding. There, I've got a little of the scratches that I'll be looking for. And this is where the, uh, the darker primer and the lighter primer shows up. see there those scratches are starting to go away when I get rid of that I'll know the scratches are filled in and ready to move to the finer paper kind of like watching paint dry I know first go around with the 150 grit paper we find a few the dark spots are what we'll be looking for those are low spots, need to be filled in. A few shiny spots, that's high spots. There's a little low one. This one's a combination of high spots and low spots. And some low scratches. I'll have to go back and get a little closer to that, to that by hand. I mean, you know, not using that big old long board file. There's a spot or two. Right along here is just, just some little waviness and a scratch or two. May end up spraying another coat of primer on it just to make sure that we catch all this stuff. And at this stage of the game, this is where we're making our final uh, shaping. Looking for all the highs and the lows. Next step will just, just be getting it smooth so we can paint. Right there, that's gonna need a little work. I 
Okay. And then on the uh, yeah, tailgate here, there's a few little spots. Some of these we're not going to worry about because it's just on the tailgate. Don't want to say it like that, but it's the truth. Tailgates are always getting beat up for one reason or another. Okay. That was about uh, a couple hours to go around it. These tiny little, tiny little places. I'll spend another couple of hours catching those. All right. See you later. All right. Close enough to the end of the day. I'm tired. Sand is hard. But I've been all the way around it with 150. Started with the 240. Took care of some of those divots. Let's see if I can show them to you here. There was a few right there. The, the yellow stuff is the, the spot putty that I like to use. Pretty good. There it is. No dabs around the door handle. Just, just little places uh, all over. I got most of them evened out. Should be able to put a second coat of primer on it tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll run out of primer before I get everything like I want it. But uh, overall, not too bad. I even went around the hood once. So, let's go find something to eat. All right, let's see. Today's Tuesday. Yes. All right. Um, this morning, huh, incoming call. All right, take two. This morning, I uh, finished the, uh, the sanding with the 240 grit paper, and uh, it's getting a little thin in some spots, so I've, I have sprayed a second, or no, a third, a third coat of urethane primer on it, and this is going to be the final priming, and I'm going to be water sanding this one, so what I like to do, because when you're water sanding, it's hard to tell where you've been and where you hadn't been. I use a painter's guide coat. It's, well, it's right backwards, you can't read it, but it's called painter's guide coat. And you just spray a light coat of it. All right, here we go. And all you do And it goes from being just gray to gray with just a little cloud of black on it. Let me go where my hand go. That way when you water sand, you can see where you've been. And if you have any defects, they'll show up too.
and you don't have to buy the painter's guide coat specifically. You can do the same thing with um, an off color of uh, uh, lacquer primer. It's the sprayable type. Don't get the sealer because that stuff gums up and you can't hardly sand it. But this stuff seems like it dries quicker and, and doesn't gum up your sandpaper. It usually comes in a pretty good sized can because you use it all the time. All right, after my primer dries for about four hours, I'll come back and start water sanding. I hope I can get that done today. We're gonna to try to paint this thing tomorrow. Should be able to. I don't see any problem if I can just get the thing water sanded so all the water will dry up because it's gonna rain, start raining Thursday. And this shop really holds water pretty bad. Got the hood ready, got the body ready. Yeah, we're going to give it a go. I'm going to find me some lunch. On my way home in the car with the dome light on, yeah. Um, been a long day, but we're going to paint that thing tomorrow. All right, update on where we are. Last night I was going home after, uh, let's see, I had finished sanded the thing three times and sprayed a primer on it once yesterday and came in this morning and washed it, washed out the booth, dried all the water off of it, I hope. Uh, got it wiped down with... Uh, I like to use alcohol for my final wipe. Get that bug off right there. What else is there to do? Let's see, I'll have to tack it, mix up some paint, and start painting. Oh, this vendor here had some little pecky stuff on top here. And see right there where the guide coat shows one up? It's very faint. I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, let's see. This door was pretty clean. Pretty sure I don't remember anything being on the door. This bed, the top, had a little humpy do right there. Uh, rest of it was good. Tailgate had a few pecks on the top. Tailgate's a little rough life. Uh, here's where the big dent was. This was caved in completely all the way from the bottom to the top. And I don't know if you've ever seen a, a load bar for trucks. I got like a load bar and stuck it in through the tail light hole and went in there and I just pushed 90% of that thing out and I'm tickled with it I didn't think I could do it but it worked uh, let's see the side of this side had a few little things on top a few spiders still was going on here. This door here, it had the door dings. There was a, a place about like that that was sort of wrinkled up. And right there's another one of those little places that the guide coat shows up, but where it is, it's not going to matter much. Uh, and then then this fender, of course. It seems like the tops of these Dodge fenders always get a little stuff where mechanics are leaning on them or 
frying too much with them. But yeah, it's pretty good. The hood um, took care of those little dents, the one in the front and the two on the left side, one on the right side. Uh, we're ready to paint, I think. <laughs> it's time to paint.
It's going to be all right.
What do you think? Shiny. I think it's going to be sharp cut. Yeah, it is. So is that it? Just, just one coat, does it? No, no, no. Uh, probably two more of those. Oh, wow. Okay, here's what happened. That other gun had the top cap on it. There's just a rubber stopper. Why it decided it's to pop off today? Well, I know because we've got a really good paint job going. It wanted well, to mess it up. Anyhow, as you can see, we had a little, little calamity here and spilled a few ounces of paint. So a few ounces makes a big mess. I swapped out guns for the old style, reliable, bibless paint gun. I've been using this thing since 72. <laughs> this is a good gun. I know it's good. Oh yeah, I had a wardrobe change too. We really. <laughs> now where did I get to? Better. Let's see how we I finished the paper, I think. You don't want <laughs> Well, no, it's it's you got there, this is right there, man. Yeah, right here. Well where that pain is right there. Yeah. I got about to right here. <laughs> now it just started to go and it just went to pop. We got paint all over the hose, it's gonna be sticky.
long day, but we got one black truck. Looks real good. Nearly had the black floor, but we'll worry about that tomorrow. I'm gonna go home and find me something to eat and burn these clothes. All right, we sprayed the truck last night. Just came in here this morning. I'm checking it out. Just you know, unmasking here and there. And so far, it looks really, really nice. I'm gonna shock my son. But still got a little unmasking to do here and there. Touch up a few bits and pieces inside the board here, looks like. What is it? We'll, we'll move it over to the other side and move the hood in here and, and uh, the little ground effect stuff. We'll work on that next.